afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swiss Show Market Review of the SPY. Do you like to look at the market usually on a weekend, whether it's a Saturday or Sunday, to take a look and see what the market did uh, for the prior week? And also, it it's, helps me look at things very clearly sometimes when I'm looking on the weekend and I've had a day off or a few hours that I haven't looked at anything haven't looked at the market, haven't thought at all about stocks, and feel very rested. And of course, everything's flat right now. And sometimes when you look at things like that, it gives you a, a nice clean picture of where we are right now and where we're headed. So I'm going to take a look here at the SPY. Uh, we're going to break out this week. Okay, That's the call. I mean, we, this is setting up to break out higher this coming week. We could even do it on Monday. I don't know if we actually do it on Monday or not. I have to see where we got. Oh, geez, we're going to, uh, here, if we gap up, we're, we're doing it Monday. We're just going to, we could even do it in the gap up in Monday morning pre-market. We could even break out in the gap. We could break out in a gap up pre-market Monday morning, or we gap neutral tomorrow morning on Monday, rally on the day, break over the high. Or we gap down and hold, still bullish, or we rest another day neutral slash bullish before we break higher. There's no setup here that looks bearish at all. <laughs> There's nothing that this market could do this coming week that is going to look bearish. There, there it is. I just had, that's the call. <laughs> Anything this market is going to do this week is going to be bullish, meaning even if we gap down, it's not a short. So there you have it. Uh, and I pretty much said the same thing about this over here. Don't expect this to go anywhere. And it was the week of the holiday. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was the week of the holiday. And I said to everyone in the trading room, I didn't trade Thanksgiving week. I said, you know, don't don't expect the market to pull in. And, and I, I don't know if anyone paid any attention to what I'm saying, but I should always just record myself every morning in the room and, and, and play back the same thing I say every day. Market is bullish. Boom, that's it. Market's higher. Next target in the SPY is 210. Could have gotten there Friday, didn't. Could get there in a gap pre-market Monday morning. Could get there on the live training day Monday. We will hit the number of 210 this week. 212 is possible this week even. Mm, 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 mm. So let's just take a look at it. So I called all of this to go long in here. Back at the trend line videos, down in here as well. We broke a little bit harder in here than I anticipated, but the cues actually did exactly what I thought. And the reason the cues and the spy didn't match up quite neck for neck at this point in here when this drop off was happening was because the spy had made a larger climb all of 2013 that was moving faster than the cues, and the cues just needed to catch up a little bit. And then that happened here. Now everything is in conjunction with each other and both the QQQs and the spies. So now you're getting the same kind of look with everything. So the market's higher. And all in here, there's been nothing but videos and emails and all kinds of stuff really since September. It's hard to believe that it's been three months now that people have been calling the market to crash. And what's even more hard to believe uh, is that people are still calling the market to crash. In fact, they're calling it to crash now more than ever. Why? Because of the extension that we have here where the market continues to rally. But I'm not reading this as extended because it's not. And an extension is nothing to play into. There's no strategy behind anything there. This is actually all new buying that's coming into the market. New buying, new money is coming to the market. Therefore, it will not be sold out off of immediately. You do not uh, take a position if you're an institution into something and invest money and pull it right back out. That wouldn't make any sense. It's very costly. Very, 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 very costly. There's commitments that are made when institutions purchase something. Now, I'm not saying that people don't dump stocks sometimes. I'm not saying that at all. I'm talking about institutional positioning and stocks in the market. When they make a choice to do something, it is a commitment, okay? It is a commitment of what is called power money, and it's real. It's a commitment. You think of it as a marriage, okay? You're committing yourself to someone or something or a trade or a belief system that the market or stock or a company is higher, you're committed. Therefore, if this is new money in the market, if I'm reading it correctly, which I am, and I know that I am because I'm reading gaps correctly because I know how to read gaps, uh, and that's how I'm reading that what this is happening here is actually a start of a new move here. It's already started. It's already underway. It's not the end of a move. It's the beginning of a move. 
But anyways, when there's a commitment, <clears throat> okay, of new money coming into something, with it, when institutions do it, they're not going to turn around and reverse back out of it immediately. It's just that's not how the system works. Just, just does not work that way. And the difference is that many people here don't know how to read what is actually happening in the price action to know that this is new money not an extended move of that's going to reverse. So this is new purchase money that's coming into the market, a new flow of equity that's coming in. It is not the end of a move. It is the beginning of a move here. And, and I, this is why this is such a great call that I'm making. <clears throat> and I'm telling pretty much everyone that I meet, everyone that I see, everyone that I, that I know that I care about who has money in the market uh, to think because there's a lot of stuff that's out there that is completely erroneous and incorrect about how to read what's happening here. And I have been accurate in my market call for the entire year of 2014 and past if you trail back from 2013. And my calls here are getting better because I'm calling numbers in this market to hit that it hasn't hit yet and then it keeps hitting every one. I called 208 to be hit that was hit on Friday. I called I called all of these numbers. Everything that the market has hit so far here, I've called it to hit these numbers, and the SPY has never hit these numbers ever in its life before. So take it for what it's worth. New money coming in is lifting the market, and it is the gaps that are creating the momentum and strength to lift it higher. The gaps are money coming in to create the gap in the first place to lift the market. Okay. And it's holding because of the fact that it is new buying. All right. Now, this doesn't mean that we go up one straight line in a row for the rest of our lives. That's not what this means here. But it certainly does mean that what I see setting up here for this week, just going one day at a time here, into this coming week, December 8th is Monday, market looks for all intents and purposes like it is going to break out higher this week. And I'm waiting for some big, huge monster green bar to set up in here that has not happened. And actually really never even happened in here because this isn't the type of thing I'm looking for for what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a massive green bar. And I don't know if that sets up this week. It, it's I, The market is setting up to have a massive, massive, solid green day of beautiful buying between now and the end of the year. I just don't know exactly when that is going to happen. It could be this week, though. And I'm just throwing it out there. It's just, it could happen this week. Every time I look at this market, I'm reminded how strong it is. I just, I'm, I don't even want to say I'm shocked anymore, but I'm, I'm happily surprised how beautiful and gorgeous it's looking and how perfect it is. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect bullish market. And if you don't know what that looks like, then that's a reason to take my class and learn from me. Because you got to know what strength looks like. you got to know what new money looks like. Because if you're shorting against new money that's buying the market, this institutional money, you are destined to lose. You will lose. You absolutely, with a shadow of a doubt, will lose if you're shorting against that. There's no way to win. There's no way to win against that. You cannot be against what institutions are doing in the market. You'll lose. And even if one time you end up making money, in the end, you will give that back and way, way more. Because institutions make the market. They are making this market right now. They've set the tone. The tone was set a long time ago, actually. The tone was set years ago, okay? But this is like a new tone that is just was being set in here in the last few months. And I saw it. I saw it before it happened. I'm seeing this right even, even here now. Market is going to rally all of 2015. Market is going to rally the entire year bullishly of 2015. 2015 is going to go down in history as the most bullish market the stock market's probably ever had. Actually, now that I'm... Yeah, that just came to me now. 2015 is going to go down in history in the U.S. stock market as the biggest rally and the biggest move the stock market has ever made since we've had all of this electronic trading that you can track how the market moves and it's, it, 2015 is going to go down as one of if not the most biggest bullish uh, years the stock market will ever have had ever since its existence there I just I just realized it that's pretty something here because I'm calling the, I'm calling the beginning of this here of a placement, not really the beginning of the whole thing, but the beginning of what I'm seeing is a real opportunity, really real opportunity for people if you listen to what I'm saying. And if you know how to do what I know, if you've already taken my class, then you know this because you rate the gaps. And when you rate a gap, it tells you per the rating system whether or not it's an institutional positioning. And this is whether it's short or long, okay? 
So that's how I can read a bearish gap down to something like this and know that it's not institutions selling out of the market, that it's not going to go anywhere. So that's also I wouldn't short this. Do you get it? Whereas I might buy a bullish gap in the market if it rates high enough over 20 points per my 26-point rating system. So the rating system that I created for myself, that I now teach people in a class, okay, tells me whether or not an institution is taking a position long or short. That's how I know whether they're going to sell it, short it, or buy it. And, and if it's neither one, then you just lay off of it. You wouldn't do anything. It doesn't mean you flip it either, okay? It's about 100% conviction. And boy, I, I have a 100% conviction, no chance of failure, that the market is higher the entire year of 2015. Unless something drastic happens, which I don't see setting up, and if it would, I'd see it in a live moment in a gap, and I don't see that setting up, and I'm seeing the entire year going to play out this way, and what's going to continue to make it grind higher and rally is new money coming in, traders who don't know what they're doing continue to short the reversal of the market or what they think is extended because they don't know what to do. And people selling out of positions in the market that are not major players because they're scared, panic, fear, what they're reading out there about people saying the market's going to crash. And, and that's why you got to learn what to do. And I don't care if you trade or not. If you have any money invested in the market, even if someone else is investing it for you, they're making decisions for you, they're giving you advice, but you, you alone are responsible for the investment decisions that you make. Even if you gave someone else your money to trade it for you or do something, you got to watch over that. You cannot leave it to chance or someone else. You have to make decisions for yourself and know what to do. And even if you don't want to sit and actively trade live every day, if you have a lot of money invested in the market with someone else, you still need to look at this and know what to do because that person is probably advising you right now to sell. Sell out of your long, sell out of this market. This is a beautiful rally, you're up, sell out. And if you don't know how to read this and you don't know how to read charts and you don't know how to read price action, you might take that person's advice thinking that they know everything. But the reality is that most people that even invest money, our stockbrokers, traders, most people that are out there do not know what they're doing because if it weren't that way, then the people that do know what they're doing wouldn't make so much money that it's ridiculous, okay? The very essence and the makeup of the stock market is that most people do not know what they're doing and very few people do. And that is why I am so, I'm grateful and lucky that I'm one of the very few people on the planet that know how to trade the market well. Not only do I know how to trade well, in live time I can predict things that happen in the future. And the way that I know how to do that is gap trading. And a sixth sense about how to reprice action movement to tell what is actually happening to stock based on institutional positioning. And what taught me that though is gaps. And it's trading gaps for six solid years. And there's less than 1% of the people on the planet that can do what I do. So if you don't know what to do, even if you don't want to trade and you have money invested in the market at any significant amount, you need to understand this so you can look at something and make a determination for yourself, even to advise the person that has your money, because they will probably talk to you out of selling out of this market, thinking that it can't go any higher, but it will, and it is, and it's going to, and it's been, and it's going to continue. Personal empowerment, people. Whether you're doing it every day or not, you have to be in charge of your own finances. You cannot leave it to chance or someone else. This is about being responsible for your own money, basically. And that's really what it comes down to. And I'm teaching people to do that. So if you're interested in the next Golden Gap class, it's December 13th and 14th. Next weekend, actually. Last class of the year. This is the last class I will be doing this year. If you want to learn how to trade, before 2015, to go into 2015 in January and train successfully, this is the last class a chance you're going to get to do it. So email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like to sign up. And again, the market is bullish. Call for this week is higher. Breaking out higher to the next level, 210 is within reach here in the SPY and beyond. And it's just really beautiful. And I almost can't talk about it enough in the trading room every day. I am breathless when I look at this to the point of ecstasy. It is just the most amazing thing I've ever seen, the most beautiful picture-perfect uh, thing that I've ever seen, and so happy that I saw it quick enough to tell people in the swing trade letter that I saw it and in the room. And one of the best calls that I've ever made to date, however, I will continue to make more incredible calls like this and beyond because I love the stock market and I'll trade forever. So have a great day, everyone. And if you're interested in signing up for the class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks.